2013 in Los Angeles, where championship aspirations go to die. What's going on? This is Kobe Bryant, and you're watching STN TV. How you doing, LA sports fans? I know it's been a little rough. You had USC, number one ranked team in the country, didn't even play in a bowl game. Lakers, they bring in Dwight Howard. They look like the only team that could contend with the Miami Heat. First round playoff exit. Clippers, hey, they were the team in LA for a little while. First round, see ya. Dodgers, Angels, you guys are taking a cue from those other teams. And you're kind of doing it the wrong way. And that's why you're in the place that you're in, Angels and Dodgers. The payroll, going way up. Who would have thought that the Yankees wouldn't be the highest payroll team in Major League Baseball? They were forever. Boston was always right behind them. Now, here are the Dodgers. They built up some of that payroll, taking on a lot of Boston's high-priced talent. Now, why are the Angels and Dodgers so bad? It looks like they're in that Yankees-Red Sox arms race right now. Dodgers first. You bring in Adrian Gonzalez, Gonzalez, Carl Crawford, Josh Beckett from Boston, and they're all part of that, what I think is probably the most toxic locker room we've seen in a very long time in Major League Baseball. Am I saying Adrian Gonzalez and Carl Crawford or, and Josh Beckett are bad guys? I don't know. But it didn't work over there. You got those personalities, which may or may not be toxic. You have uh, Zach Greinke coming over. You spend a lot of money. We'll give this guy a chance because he's been hurt most of the time he's been with you. So is Hanley. But Hanley also a history of some personality problems. Him and Freddie Gonzalez, the old Marlins manager, getting into it. So you have these personalities that haven't always been the most cohesive guys in the past. You bring them all together. You just throw them together. You spend as much money as you can. And this is where you kind of end up. Dodgers at the bottom of the standings in the NL West. I mean, we're looking at the Rockies ahead of them. We're looking at the Padres ahead of them. It's unbelievable. And how's the team doing that they took all those players from. Boston, fighting for the top spot in the AL East. Unbelievable. Now let's get to the Angels. Seventh highest payroll in baseball. You bring Albert Pujols in. You give him the most ridiculous contract ever. Now, I back it a little bit because Albert Pujols was the greatest player in baseball for 10 years. You're not going to get your money's worth, but I back that a little bit. But you bring in Josh Hamilton, a guy who's fully exposed. Every pitcher knows how to get this guy out. Strikes out a lot. We've seen how clutch he is. They've gone to the World Series, and he's completely laid an egg both times going there. So the Angels, spending all the money they want, not really thinking about how a team's going to work. Josh Hamilton, the guy you replaced, Torrey Hunter, leader. Hitting the ball well for the Tigers. But the leadership is what they're missing. No leaders on the Angels, no gritty players, and that's how you end up near the bottom of the AL West standings. And by the way, how are the two teams that they took these two high-priced guys from doing? St. Louis, Los Pulhos, first place in the NL Central right now. Texas, we took CJ, we meaning the Angels, obviously I'm an Angels fan. We took CJ Wilson and Albert Pulho, or and Josh Hamilton from the Rangers, first place in the AL West. Congratulations, Texas Rangers. Actually, best record in baseball. So spending money, doing that, no. Grow your farm system, build guys who know how to play together, and run your franchise that way. And you might end up like the San Francisco Giants, a team with not a whole lot of payroll. They sign their pitching, they put a bunch of grinders together, and they win World Series. So let me know what you think. Do you think you need grinders on your baseball team to win, or you think you should just throw a bunch of money at the highest priced free agent out there? Leave a comment, and I read them all, I respond to some. Like the video, and make sure you subscribe to STN TV. I'm Tad Dixon. Hey, thanks for watching. But before you go, Jason, would you agree they got to click this video right here? It's an yeah, amazing program. I agree program. they got to click that video, but I think they should first click this video right here. I mean, it's absolute gold. How well, can you whatever not watch you do, this make video? sure you. Can we agree that they should subscribe to our channel? I agree. Sports I news agree. all week, Laker talk. I mean, you got to do that. But you don't even know what the hell you're promoting, Jason. I the did, video right here. Matter. I know everything about this it video. Why would you sit here and you this don't know?